know this girl with a girl and she wanna do my girl and it's like fuck the world when you not from the world i didn't put myself on i don't need no girl and i'm still with the shit see my ops make a girl cause i'm hot and i'm girl i'm on top how to get out okay you get it no need for pacifics unless it's the ocean you trying to get trippy yeah yeah i fuck with the blue face i'm trying to get nips They said I'd be going out, so how did you miss me? Y'all already know what it is. Time out is Kel Cito. The Spirit Coach getting you in shape and form for the new age yet again. What's good, family? Shout out to Limitless Existence 511. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. That's spiritual neighborhood. That's soul family. That's soul group. You know what I'm saying? We grouped up and we in a zone right now. You know what I'm saying? Because motherfuckers trying to kill our vibes, but the vibes is high based on the motherfucking mood being in Pisces and shit. So, you know, we got a lot of copycat ass spirits that want to, you know what I'm saying, do what you want to do and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, to, to kind of rule you out or whatever. But for the most part, you know, that shit ain't no effect. You know what I'm saying? So we getting in effect right now. And right now we're going to talk about actual transit. We're going to talk about the field. And guess what we have to talk about today? We got to talk about Mercury fucking retrograde. You know what I'm saying? I said I was coming with it. Get that. I with it. And so now I'm about to really come with it. And this is the mental exercise, okay? You know what I'm saying? So that's what you need to know. All the motherfucking spirits that fuck with, you know what I'm saying, Cito and his spirit coach and be at the esoteric gym and shit, you know, learning how to play in these fields, in these games. This is what you're going to be going through for until the fucking Mercury goes direct, you know what I'm saying? Mercury goes direct, and so it's going, it's, it's, it's retrograde in Gemini, which is the third house, which is mutable air, so you know what I'm saying? Our surroundings, you know what I'm saying? That, that mutable air, it's not the fixed air, it's that afterthought air, you know what I'm saying? It ain't the air that's like more constructed on some Aquarius shit, it ain't the, you know, think, creating and initiating new thoughts on some Libra shit, you know what I'm saying? It's that air that's that's the afterthought, you know what I'm saying? It's like motherfucker, after you know you didn't sat and thought long as hell and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Now you about to go out and communicate that shit, you know? And so that's where Mercury, that's what Mercury is, and Mercury is the ruler of Gemini, okay? And so that's the third house, that's our surroundings, that's you know the people, places, and things we familiar with, you know what I'm saying? So we got Venus in there. So I did love was love was love is in the air. Oh wait, wait. The Ven I think Venus just entered Cancer, low key. So it's like on the cusp. So you know we got love in the air a little bit still. You know what I'm saying? But it's getting a little watery, and you know what I'm saying it's starting to care a little more. You know, love was kind of like on its own. You know, love grew wings and shit like that for the most part. Venus grew wings and shit like that. But now it's going into Cancer, so you know everybody want to connect. You know what I'm saying? So it's it's, it's kind of still. I, I feel like it fucks with Cancer a little bit, you know, uh, for the most part. But getting back into, she said I got Gemini in the third house, and it's my Moon sign. Okay, so you a Gemini Moon, and you got that motherfucker in the third house. Oh yeah, so you already know. You already been on flight time. You already been light on some light time. You already been. You know what I'm saying? Finding your wings and shit like that. And you already been attracting people to either confirm that or sh or motherfucker, or you had to be the motherfucker that confirmed that for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you in, in the spiritual neighborhood, usually that'd be the case because other motherfuckers, 
they don't they don't be vibing with you unless they so group. And when we in our day to day lives and shit like that, the people that we gotta uh the the people that we gotta um the people that be around us and shit, usually we gotta in implement that ourselves and shit. So it's your natural energy. So it's something you're gonna do automatically, you know what I'm saying? But getting into this motherfucking Mercury retrograde, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Emmanuel Haley for joining the motherfucking spiritual huddle. Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? More team players in this motherfucker. Period. All right. So we gonna we gonna we gonna break down the motherfucking energies because we we dealing with a fucking retrograde. But nonetheless, the moon is in Pisces and the sun is in Gemini. All right. And so when we got the moon in Pisces. This is motherfucking subconscious type shit. You know what I'm saying? This is motherfucking the spirit realm and shit. So we all feel, you know, in our feelings and shit. You know what I'm saying? And whether whatever spectrum on that um, side of the feeling you are, your feelings can feel, you know, you can be down in the deep blue sea, a.k.a. you could be the second fish that's deep in the motherfucking deep blue sea. You know what I'm saying? Or you could be the other fish that's on the lighter end of the spectrum and shit. So we all reacting and responding to, you know, subconscious and subconsciously connecting and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But how it looks is Gemini. So that's mutable air, being mutable to your own and other ways of thinking and communicating right now. So let me get the motherfucking playbook because it's about to go down. Shout out Radical Knight for joining the spiritual huddle. We all in this motherfucker. We all family. We all connected in this bitch. You better believe it. All right. Let's get to it. <clears throat> so, you know what I'm saying? So the feel, a.k.a. the feelings right now that we participating in is Pisces based on where the moon has, has is at in the motherfucking sky. So this is you letting feelings go, a.k.a. you not having a hold of your feelings. Like, you can't help but feel your motherfucking feelings right now. And also, we got Jupiter there and we got Neptune. So they might be a little bit dreamy, you know what I'm saying? You might slide into shit that you resonate with, you know what I'm saying? You might slide into shit you may resonate with, shit on some spiritual shit, just because, you know, it's conjuncting. You know, we feel the need to be free. We need some fucking wisdom. We need some motherfucking expansion. We need some motherfucking meanings and reasonings to our lives right now. So, you know what I'm saying? This is you letting the feelings go. You know what I'm saying? So, with releasing them, aka, this is your musical right now. And based on the motherfucking, uh, Based on how that look, it's Gemini, a.k.a. mutable air, being mutable to your own and other ways of thinking. So this is you communicating your subconscious. You know what I'm saying? You're participating in your subconscious some way, shape, or form right now. You know what I'm saying? The shit that the shit that make you feel light. The shit that make life feel like a movie. The shit that make life feel like a dream. Life is but a dream, a.k.a. the Pisces co-ruler co Neptune dreams and imaginations and shit like that. But how that's going to look? Oh, it's going to be logical. It's going to make sense. It's going to be communicated. So that's what the fuck we dealing with. Shout out to Elemental 8 Soul for joining the motherfucking esoteric huddle. So try not too hard. Try to um, try not to be too hard on yourself for not having the right logic or the right understanding for, you know what I'm saying, your feelings right now or your dreams right now, you know what I'm saying, or the reasons why you want to be free and shit like that, you know what I'm saying. But motherfuckers see them for what they is, you know, communicate them shits and all that. So try not to be hard on yourself for not having the right logic for your dreams. The moon and the Pisces will show us sometimes feelings is all you need. You know what I'm saying? Transcending old feelings, aka moon and Pisces, you have before the logic is taken serious. And when the logic is taken serious, you know what I'm saying? We see how motherfuckers like Kanye West got this place. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Yeezy. He got um, Pisces moon and a Gemini sun. So, you know what I'm saying? So, he, 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 he. You know, your, your, your moon is what you, you know, your, that's your feeling. You know what I'm saying? So that's first. You know what I'm saying? We always receive first. So he receive and then he just externalize and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And then, but Gemini squares, uh, Gemini squares motherfucking um, um, Pisces. So he always got to learn about what the fuck he just said. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, sometimes that's good, though, to go with the feeling and shit. And so, you know, we, we, we learn... Um, we learn this, um, these motherfucking modalities by him himself, you know? All right. So let's get into the motherfucking, um, the actual field and how these angles are hitting us. You know what I'm saying? What our feelings and shit like that, AKA the moon and what's how the other planets are angling the moon. Okay. Shout out Tiff, cousin Tiff, you know what I'm saying? For joining the esoteric huddle. God damn. It's a light day. You know what I'm saying? Um, you said it's buffering. 
Let me know if I'm that good. I'm buffering. How I'm buffering? My shit not even buffering on my side. Let me know if I'm good. I don't know if y'all good. All right. But anyways, getting back. Uh, uh, limitless existence. Let me know if I'm good. I ain't buffering or none. I ain't skipping or none. I'm going to just go until you, until you type and let me know something. All right. So, you know, we got the moon square to sun right now. So this is learning how to see reactions and shit. So we learning how to see what we act. So right now we just going to act upon shit. You know what I'm saying? And based, and also we just going to react to um, um, certain things and circumstances, situations to gain information about what we react into. You know what I'm saying? So when you got the moon square and the sun, this is a learning process. A square is a 90 degree angle. It's a learning. So we all learn how to see our reactions right now. We actually observing ourselves from another angle and shit like that. Trying to see, okay, is this something that we can learn from? You know what I'm saying? Or is this something, some other, whole other shit? Shout out, um, um, Moody Sinu Vibration for joining Esoteric Huddle. Yeah, so we learn how to see our reaction. So try not to overthink your feelings right now. You know what I'm saying? Try not to overanalyze your feelings. That would be going into the nighttime of fucking Gemini, which is uh, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? You know, you want to be light. You want to keep a light mentality right now. Moon square Mercury. This is learning uh, how to feel about what's communicated. So we all learn how to feel about what's communicated. You know what I'm saying? You might just say some shit like, and then you might like, damn, why? Same instance, same square. You might be observing, okay, why did I just, why did I, why did my, why did that just come out of my mouth and shit like that? But if you a good learner, then you can put that shit to the test. You can put that shit to rest and use that how you want to, okay? And then we got moon trying, um, moon trying, semi trying, square Venus. So this is learning the gift of appreciation, okay? So it's a small little energy pocket we got for the next couple of days until Venus get always all the way into um, Venus. Where's Venus? It's it's um, going into Cancer. You know what I'm saying? It's like zero degrees Cancer right now. But since it's you know still cusping, Gemini, we still got like a like a like a uh, a couple day period. You know what I'm saying? Before it be all the way in there. So right now we got Moon trying semi slash square Venus. Um, uh, so this is learning the gift of appreciation. So with this transit, you might be glad you compromise or value a person, place, or thing right now. So you're going to be learning the gift of appreciation, point blank pen. And on the negative end, this is learning that you might have been compromising too much or you might have been too stupid and shit like that. So it depends on what side of energy you in. So if you know astrology and shit, if you be following the alignments and shit, you've probably been playing a good seeds if you've been watching the Seatho the Spirit Coach. Anybody in the subconscious community, you know what I'm saying, that's really about this, you know what I'm saying, you might be on track. Okay? Moon try Mars. This is feeling comfortable with intentions. Okay? So we all gonna be feeling comfortable with our intentions, you know, our, our own individuality, aka Mars, you know what I'm saying, passions, our motivation. You know, we got the uh, opportunity to feel comfortable with that and shit like that. Um, make sure you, you know, um, you don't, this also can be like procrastinating because you can feel comfortable like you doing some shit, but you might not really be doing shit. You know what I'm saying? So you can feel comfortable with your passions and shit like that, but your passions might not be shit. You know what I'm saying? Your passions might not be shit. So <clears throat> that's, 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 that's the uh, opportunity right now. And you, and somebody might come in your realm of reality and remind you your passion is not shit. You know what I'm saying? If you too, if you're getting too comfortable with your past, okay? Moon conjunct Jupiter. This is feeling growth, okay? So we all feeling growth right now. Uh, we all feeling growth right now, whether negative or positive. You know what I'm saying? We all feeling the need to grow. We all feeling the need to expand. So this is expanding our feelings, feeling growth and shit like that. So, you know, moon, moon conjunct Jupiter is going to take us through an experience of feeling growth. Moon sextile Uranus. Um, just make sure no no bad shit grow. You know what I'm saying? Like a you know faith. You know Jupiter deals with faith, so you want to have faith in your growth as well. And that's like an opportunity to have faith in growth. It can play. You know conjunct um, conjunctions can play out like sextile trines or squares too. So always remember that it can play out like either one. Moon sextile Uranus. This is feeling comfortable with changes. Okay, so we got the opportunity to feel comfortable with changes, our individuality, our originality, and uniqueness. Okay. Um, moon conjunct Neptune. This is creative feelings. 
Okay, so you're gonna have something where this, you're gonna have something where uh, your feeling is like a movie, like I said earlier, it's like a vibe, you know what I'm saying? Or the negative is that you can create um, illusions, all your feelings, you can be attracting negative vibes and negative feelings and add creativity to that. And you can be in a whole space where you just creating some whole other shit that don't even nobody care about for real. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to be in that space. You want to motherfucking, you know, um, have creative feelings, aka okay? add good, good imaginations and feelings to your spaceship and shit like that, right? Then we got Moon Sextile Pluto. This, this Pluto, Pluto, <laughs> Moon Sextile Pluto. This is an opportunity to put depth to, uh, uh, put depth um, to feelings. You know what I'm saying? Or transform a feeling. You know, transform a, a opportunity to take control and power over a fucking feeling right now, which is an opportunity. And it's always good to take power and control over your fucking feelings, especially when they. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, they weak, you know, or you feel like you can't move forward. You got an opportunity to move forward right now in a, in a, in a deep way. You know what I'm saying? Pluto is deep. Pluto is about the darkness. It may be hopping into dark aspects, but for the most part, if you know how to utilize that energy, you'll be able to hop in the aspect that you need to, to, uh, um, take power control over the feeling, um, that you want to manifest. Right. And so feelings are, um, like I said, we receive feelings and shit like that, okay? And so when we receive feelings, now based on your vibratory frequency, aka where you're being at in the esoteric realm, aka the shit you pay an attention to and how you pay attention to it, you know, it's going to determine how you, the where the the frequency vibration you in to receive feelings. So you could be receiving negative feelings about good shit, and you could be receiving um, positive feelings uh, about bad shit. It just depends on your vibratory frequency. And, um, and both of those can manifest into a point where you, uh, have a lot on your plate and that can become, um, like a bag of water. You ever have a fucking bag of water, right? And so if that bag of water is, 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 is baggage, you know what I'm saying? Is, you know, you ain't gonna like carrying that, but it's just clean, pristine water and shit like that. You might, you know, okay, you might, all right, let me, let me carry this and shit and, 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 and smack somebody with this like a balloon fight. Real shit, real shit. This is spiritual shit for real, for real. All right. Um, getting back to that. Okay, so yeah, that was the last one. So that was Pluto. You know what I'm saying? So let me motherfucking take a little shit knot. You know what I'm saying? And we gonna get back into Mercury on your ass, cause Mercury is on your ass. Um, mental exercise in your ass right now. Mm hmm. Mental exercise in your ass right now. Mercury is back in his home. Oh yeah, your ass gonna get stretched out. Your ass gonna get worked out, okay? So, it's a good thing. You know, we got Saturn, I mean, oh yeah, we got Saturn retrograde as well. And I did a video on that called Obstacle Course. You know what I'm saying? You can check that out, you know? You can check that out on Mystical Illuminations YouTube. Um, you can also check that out on Mystical Illuminations IG. Uh, for whatever reason, um, you know what I'm saying? They still got restrictions on this account and shit like that. But, uh, you know, don't worry. I'm out here. I'm out here. They ain't gonna never stop me. You can't stop me. I can't stop. Yeah, all right. So, you know, right now you have a great, opportunity not even a great you have a gift you know what i'm saying because we, we got motherfucking saturn retrograding in aquarius uh fixed air sign and then we got mercury retrograding and a motherfucking mutable air sign this is like a good gift right now because not only that does the obstacle courses come back to the point where you can see um see that you have to take the physical steps um, and the actual act at the time and, and at practicality to getting over that uh, obstacle course, you know what I'm saying? AKA Aquarius retrograde and I mean, uh, Saturn retrograde and Aquarius, that obstacle course coming back, you have a trine with motherfucking Gemini in a sky where you can have the mental uh, 
capacity to oversee, you know what I'm saying, this motherfucking obstacle course and shit like that. So you're, you're the, you know, the, the mercury is slowed down. You know what I'm saying? We have a, 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 a moment to observe what's going on in the esoteric realm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so that Saturn and that motherfucking Gemini trining, that is a gift that you can use, you know what I'm saying, right now. And it's a good one to get control over your life, your boundaries, restrictions, and limits, and shit like that, and how you think about them and shit like that. So when Mercury go direct, you know what I'm saying, you can be right in the mindset where you need to be. And then when motherfucking, um, you know what I'm saying, Saturn go direct, you know what I'm saying, all that shit will catch up. So use that gift in the sky, you know, because that trying, that trying is, is, is right. You know what I'm saying? It's not, we, like I said, we get to see the obstacle course, you know what I'm saying? We get to see the obstacle course, but it ain't just like the obstacle course hitting us on some, you know, rewind shit. And we just like, oh, we just got to do physical. No, Mercury is retrograde too. So now we can use that shit to like kind of oversee. Okay. You know, y'all get this. I already know y'all get this. All right. <laughs> Shout out to Blue Flower Child. Shout out to Max and for joining the Esoteric Huddle. Shout out 1515, the queen. And yeah, we lit in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, so Mercury retrograde in Gemini. You know what I'm saying? Trying to uh, Saturn will give you the gift of having the ability to rethink past obstacles. Um, she said, I'm back. Yeah, I, oh yeah, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I ain't never left and shit like that. But it's, they still got this... Um, they still got this shit restricted. Shout out Dream Star Walker, Star Walker. Um, they still got my shit restricted and shit. So I like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna post this on Mystical Illuminations and Mystical Illuminations YouTube. So make sure you follow them and whatnot until I get uh, my, um, my shit back. Yeah. So yeah, so you have the ability to rethink, AKA Mercury Retrograde. So we, we all rethinking um, past obstacles that once held you back. That way you can overstand what may have held you back in the past. All right. So, yeah. So let's get into uh, Mercury. Mercury thinking, communication, analyzing, you know what I'm saying? Um, 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 metaphors, logic. Um, it's like the, like the overthought, you know what I'm saying? Of seeing like anything, damn near, you know what I'm saying? But um, when we got it in the motherfucking first house, if you got this in the first house, this is where your mental exercise is going to be. So your mental exercise is going to be with your personal uh, insecurities. You know what I'm saying? So you better believe motherfucking they're going to make um, Mercury going to come back and make you mentally, mentally work it out. Work whatever personal insecurities you got going um, and you um, plan out for you, even when it's motherfucking challenging your personal beliefs or your passions or your motherfucking motivation. You know what I'm saying? So this is where your mental exercise is going to come with, um, from. All right, second house. If you got this in the second house, your mental exercise is going to come from the people, places, and things you value. You know what I'm saying? What makes you feel stable in your life. You know, um, you know your self-esteem and the seeds you planted, of course. All right? So, you know, just, just be careful and shit because, you know, this is right next to, you know, Taurus is right next to Gemini, you know, um, and whatnot. And, um, you know, when you're in the second house, you know, the second house likes to be stable and shit like that. So you just about to get a whole bunch of wind that blow your shit for the most part. You're about to get a whole bunch of air that blow your shit. A whole bunch of thoughts, you know what I'm saying, that's going to test your stability and shit like you might get a, a whole bunch of resistance. So just, you know, third house. I mean, this is mental exercise. Who's your surroundings, friends, or your mentality, your own mentality. So you could be your own worst enemy, you know what I'm saying? Or this could be like the people that you... That, that you thought should have the same thoughts as you, like your friends. This is that, them type of motherfuckers coming back and making you mentally exercise and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So if you with the coach, you in shape and form. So you know how to get through this energy. You know what I'm saying? Mercury retrograde. Fourth house. This is mental exercise with, you know, old shit that you cared about. Old emotional shit that you cared about or your family. Okay? Yeah. Your family. Okay? So, you know, um... You know, you might feel challenged because based on the conjunction between Cancer and, and Gemini, making um and that misunderstanding there. You know, what I'm saying, oh shit, I care about this or not, but I should care about this. You know, those thoughts and shit. Mercury gonna make you motherfucking say, some, you know, gain some some mental strength and shit like that. You know, what I'm saying. So, yeah, <laughs> fifth house. This is mental exercise with 
uh, old people, places, things that you gave your attention to, you know what I'm saying? Um, also your creativity and also it could be just your motherfucking looks or your outlooks or the, what you pay attention to in general. You're going to have all a whole mental exercise about, you know what I'm saying? To try not to be too hard on yourself and how things should look and how things, um, and, and like how you think they should look, you know, try not to be too, try not to get lost in those thoughts and how you flipping around and shit. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that to yourself. Shout out Kevo ZX6R, you know what I'm saying? For joining Esoteric Huddle. Shots in a motherfucking F. Real shit. But yeah, if you got this in a motherfucking... If you got this in the uh, sixth, uh, fifth house, this is mental exercise with your, uh, with, with the shit that you gave attention to. You know what I'm saying? Seventh house. This is mental exercise. Let me see. Bring the fucking playbook a little closer. You feel me? Y'all like my handwriting? I hope y'all do. It ain't like pretty or nothing, but it's just unique and shit like that. It's just me. <laughs> Seventh house. Uh, this is a bit too, um, wait, 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 wait a minute. Six house. This is mental exercise with your, with your work and insecurities. Okay. So you're going to have a whole mental exercise with your work and insecurity. Okay. Motherfuckers on your motherfucking, um, motherfucking on your motherfucking job or you working on trying to bring you, um, uh, resistance and trying to make your motherfuckers, you know, oh, you should think about this like that and shit like that. But you like, man, I'm just trying to work on it, man. I ain't even trying to, but yeah, the mother Mercury going to bring all that shit. Like, you're going to be like, I already thought about this. Like I already thought it through and shit like that. And you like, okay, I got to be like, you know, <laughs> he said Aquarius is be like, ah, <laughs> real shit, real shit. You know us, man. Shout out real Shamari for joining. What up, little bro? You know what I'm saying? Shout out your girl, Ken, uh, for joining the Esoteric Hut. I got some more motherfucking players in here. Y'all know what time it is. Seat those spirit coach. All right, let's get us back in shape and form. All right, so if you got this in the seventh house, this is, um, uh, you're going to have a whole mental exercise with your old ways of relating. Okay, so where you may felt like you didn't give a fuck before, it's going to be all these thoughts coming back that make you reconsider what you gave a fuck about. He said, I'm back. Um, I, <laughs> I am, I'm always here, G. Like, it's just the, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, 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 they definitely restricted me. They let me do live. They let me do live. They let me upload uh, videos. And, and like steals and slides and shit. I can't comment. I can't add no one. I can't do that shit on this page. Like, it's stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga, we can just, you know, we infinite though. That's what, you know what I'm saying? So shout out for Mystical Illuminations for having the backup swag. Shout out Peace Dealer, you know what I'm saying? For, for you know what I'm saying? We ain't going nowhere. Follow Mystical Illuminations page, okay? You know what I'm saying? And also follow Seatho World. That's also my backup page. That I'm gonna get together and shit like that. But yeah, like I said, if you got this going through your seventh house, this is a uh, mental exercise with your old uh, ways of relating. Like I said, so things that you might um, uh, felt like uh, areas where you might like you felt like, where you might felt like you didn't give a fuck before, they gonna come back and resurface amongst how you relate. You know what I'm saying? Either in your relationship or whatever the fuck. Eighth house, this is mental exercise with what's hidden or secret. So you might get all these thoughts and ideas behind it. You know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes, you might feel like it's something wrong. And it might not even really be nothing wrong and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So that's like a misunderstanding. Uh, ninth house, this is mental exercise with knowledge. You know what I'm saying? So, aka, okay, you want to put your knowledge to the test and shit like that. You know, based on this being an opposition. But, you know... Um, it's going to bring a mental um, exercise with your knowledge and education and shit like that. And all that spiritual faith and shit you was talking about, you know what I'm saying? It's going to seem like it don't work. It shouldn't work. You know what I'm saying? But now you're going to have to put that shit in shape and form. You know what I'm saying? You heard it here with from the coach. Tenth house. Ninth house. No, tenth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tenth house. This is mixes, mental exercise. Where well, your mental exercise is going to come from is uh, uh, with your business and status and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So you might feel like you you might you might feel like some you know your business ain't going where it go. You might feel like it, um where it need to go, or it don't got no direction, or motherfuckers ain't talking about it or enough or shit. So you might have to go through a mental exercise with your status and shit like that. So uh uh um yeah, just you know just just keep it copacetic. You know you you'll 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 be all right for you that got in this in house. You'll be all right. All right. 
Eleventh house, this is mental exercise with your association, your public persona. You know what I'm saying? Might be put to the test. You know, people might come and say, oh, you shouldn't do that. Or you shouldn't, you know, it, look, like I said, even if these ain't spirits and bodies, these motherfucking spaces are going to play out where, whether you regard a lie. If you don't see, they're going to come in some way, shape, or form and affect you and shit in some way. They can come in a thought. They can come in a motherfucking feeling. They can come in a motherfucking garbage can if it's angled the right way, a basketball. You know what I'm saying? Something can put you in their mind. These spirits don't play. So, yeah, so when you got Mercury... You know what I'm saying uh, In 11th house You know what I'm saying For instance You know You might want to hoop all your life And shit like that And whatever And so this is like You know You might be Going through high school You might be Uh you might have uh, uh, gave that shit up for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Gave it up. He's like, man, I ain't really going really gonna to be. This is just an example. You, I ain't really going to be, you know what I'm saying, this NBA player or whatever. Those thoughts going to come back. You know what I'm saying? You might see a basketball, and that's a spirit trying to contact you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what about this? You know what I'm saying? What about this space? You you know what I'm saying? You put to, to the side because you wanted to. You know, uh, you wanted to associate yourself in a public way that your mama saw, thought 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 you was good. I mean, thought shit thought it should be like, or your daddy thought it should be like and shit. But you wanted to do it your way, and so that's where that mental exercise is coming from. You, you know, what I'm saying, aka okay, the way you associate yourself in the public. Twelfth um, house. This is your your mental. You having a mental exercise with your. You're having a mental exercise with your subconscious, okay? So, you know what I'm saying? If you got this in the 12th house, you're going to have it with your subconscious, your subconscious feelings and shit like that, you know, um, um, your dreams and your imaginations and your creativity, a.k.a. now um, all these thoughts is coming back in that area of life, you know what I'm saying, which is the 12th house. You know, all these feelings is coming back of how, man, you, you can be, you know, how you can be free and whatever and, and why you not being free and, you know what I'm saying, in those areas, in that area of your creativity and shit like that, you know what I'm saying, and even if you are being free, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers might come and try to overtake your imagination when you got in the 12th house, because the 12th house is kind of sneaky and shit like that, it's kind of, you know, we get a lot of fucking demons from the 12th house and shit, because motherfuckers be lost and abusing, um, 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 feelings and, and connecting and shit based on shared values, but yeah. So this, this is you gonna have a mental exercise with your subconscious. The shit that you gonna communicate is gonna be coming from the heart and shit like that. And then you know, just be careful because when you come from, you know, um, when you come from such a vulnerable place, vulnerable place, aka the spirit realm, you know, people um, that know how to take advantage of that will take advantage of that. But as long as you got some motherfucking um, spiritual strength, you should be able to wrap that motherfucking shit up and do a slam duck on that shit. Real shit. Shout out Faith and all that. Dream Star Walker said 100. And yeah, we 100 up. We 100 up. So yeah, y'all already know what it is. And that is the rundown for the Mercury retrograde, which will be in which is in Gemini, I think, to like June 22nd, once that shit go direct. So make sure you're going through this mental exercise with some um, mental um, strength, mental capacity to to to, to um, move forward. You know what I'm saying? Move forward. And y'all should know how to move forward spiritually. You know what I'm saying? Um, spiritually moving forward is just feeling like you, you know, you getting, you getting there, you on the way. You know what I'm saying? You got it. That's spiritually moving forward. That's the vibration. I'm not even moving it, but y'all feel that shit. Then like spiritually moving backwards. It's just like feeling like regret and lost and shit like that. And and um, uh, feeling like you left something behind, you know, and, or you did something wrong or some shit. So that's how you move back esoterically. Um, feeling um, traveling left will be opposing somewhat, you know, opposing, feeling individual, feeling left out, feeling... Uh, individualistic then traveling right in the spiritual realm would be feeling righteous and feeling on course and feeling like you're 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 wrapping things up and shit like that you get what i'm saying so yeah that's how you move esoterically up down you feel uplifted you feel good down you know what i'm saying you feel depressed you feel like you need to take the chill pill all right and that's how you move in the esoteric realm and shit like that you know i get around so you better get around in this motherfucker we got the mutable pisces water right now you know what i'm saying sun and Gemini. So this is communicating the subconscious. So we connecting on the subconscious level. We traveling. You know what I'm saying? We learning about that travel that we in. And um, as a connection. And we taking it there. And I am Kel Cito, the spirit coach. And I love everyone. And um, one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? 
um, this week I will be updating some more um, readings upon mystical, I mean, not mystical illumination, clearsightconsulting.net. Uh, so I'll probably be announcing those readings very soon. You know what I'm saying? Adding more. Um, I do have the five star element experience up there that you can go check out. You know what I'm saying? You already know what it is. Let's see though. Um, and yeah, get y'all ass in the motherfucking game.